everyone, it's Merve from Weglot and today we're going to discuss how to choose the best WordPress translation plugin for your website. Now when it comes to WordPress, there are a lot of translation plugin options available. So you might be confused as to choose which one or what to even look for. So in this video, I'm going to share five key considerations that you should keep in mind while you're choosing a translation plugin for your WordPress website. Now if you're ready, let's start. The first thing to consider should be how you and your team are going to manage translation workflows. Now, when it comes to WordPress, there are two ways to manage translations, either inside WordPress or outside WordPress through a dedicated translation plugin. When a translation is handled inside WordPress, a duplicate version of each page or post will be created for each language option. Now, this is great for flexibility because you have full control over your translated pages, but it can also be time consuming as you will have to handle everything manually. In order to work with translators or editors, you have to give them full access to your WordPress admin. But be careful because this can potentially cause security and privacy issues. On the other hand, when the translations are handled outside of WordPress, it's done through a plugin. So this way you'll be managing all your translations, user permissions and updates through a dedicated platform optimized for translation management. So this is an easier and faster method as the whole process is automated and you won't have to share your WordPress admin with anyone. Then consideration should be the translation quality. When it comes to translation quality, basically there are two main options. The first one is human translation and the second one is machine translation. As the name suggests, human translation is when a translation is handled by a real human. And a machine translation is when the translations are done by a computer software, such as Google Translate, Microsoft or DeepL. What you may not know is that some WordPress translation plugins don't offer these options, so you have to come up with translations yourself. On the other hand, some plugins offer one of the two options, so it's a bit limiting. And finally, some plugins offer both options, so you can start with a machine translation and then review the translations yourself, or either have it done by a professional translator, or even invite teammates to work on a translation project together. It's preferable to have both options because it's more efficient regarding cost, time and quality. So depending on your needs, make sure to check which options are provided by the translation plugin. If the plugin is offering translations, it's smart to go with the one that's offering the most language options, because in the future you might want to add a new language that you didn't think you would need initially. In addition to languages, some plugins offer even dialects, which can improve your localization efforts even further. For example, Weglot offers more than 100 languages, but it also has a feature called custom languages, which allows you to translate your website into dialects, languages that are not on the list yet, or even made up languages if you want to. Next, let's talk about some key features that will make your translation workflow way easier. So you should definitely check if the plugin offers them. The first one is definitely the visual editor. A visual editor is a tool that allows you to edit your translations on a preview of your website so you can see how your translated pages will look. This is important because text expansion and different characters can disrupt web design. So by using this tool, you can fix these issues before even going live. The second key feature is the import export feature. For example, if you're working with freelancers, it might be more convenient for them to translate the content on another platform. So thanks to this feature, you will have the flexibility to translate your content in your preferred way. The last key feature is the glossary. The glossary feature allows you to create translation rules and translate certain terms, phrases, or product and brand names in a certain way. This is great for consistency and it's also a huge time saver as you won't always have to go and translate same words in the same way. Fourth on the list, let's talk about multilingual SEO. Now, multilingual SEO is a crucial component of a good WordPress translation plugin. Without multilingual SEO, your translated pages won't be indexed in search engines and they won't be visible. If you don't have the technical knowledge, you might want to choose a translation plugin that takes care of multilingual SEO automatically. Because multilingual SEO can get a bit complicated as it involves processes such as implementing hreflang tags or setting up subdirectories or subdomains, which can get quite complicated and time consuming. Last but not least on the list is automatic content detection. Automatic content detection is when the translation plugin handles detection, translation and display of your website content automatically. Now, as a website owner, you'll be updating your content regularly. 
So this feature allows your translated pages to be always up to date automatically. You should also check if your translation plugin detects and translated content that could be generated by teams or third-party plugins. For example, if you're using WooCommerce to create an e-commerce store or Optin Monster to make pop-ups, your translation plugin might not support it or require additional fees to translate this content. So this was it. Of course, there are many other features that will give you a better user experience when you're translating your website, but these five key considerations will help you make a more informed decision when you're choosing a WordPress translation plugin. So which one was the most important to you? Let us know in the comments and until next time, bye!